Hello and welcome to another AGK tutorial and this is for a first person shooter or a first person because I'm not shooting anything at the moment um, I'll quickly run the code so you can see what it does and basically you can look around or should I hit the mouse cursor I suppose but there we go it's a small thing and you can walk around you can strife and basically you can walk around a little scene not that I've got much of a scene, just a floor but we'll be adding more in in a future tutorial I'm sure I'm carry, I'll carry on with this right so it's not as hard as it looks, it's actually quite short um, it's, there you go, 57 lines there and that's including this REM stuff at the start. So we set the virtual resolution, set the V-Sync, load up a nice texture, make a, a plane for the floor, 128 by 128, that'll be in pixels because I've set the resolution, well, I think it is, well it's 3D so I'm not quite sure, but it's 128 by 128, I assume it's pixels. Um, but obviously it probably isn't when you look at that 128 units whatever that is in 3D terms right I'm just rotating that because if I don't rotate it the floor will be facing the wrong way if I can ever find it now no because I'm, I'm right on the axis as of the, of the floor if you know what I mean I'm right in the centre so that's going to be rotated just perfectly so I can't ever see it but basically it's rotated the wrong way so that just just puts it in the right position um, I'm setting the image for the grass which I've loaded there um, I'm creating a box just for the player this is obviously just to um, for well future stuff with collision and that sort of thing you don't really need it at the moment you could just get away with the camera but I'm using that anyway and I'm just setting the uh, camera rotation to zero for now and I'm obviously I'm positioning the object the player object I've created just above the ground just to the right size because I made it six high I set a little um, variable called speed or speed hash that's just how fast you can move obviously if I increase that I'll be able to move faster um, these commands here just check the keys um, if I'm pressing A it'll run that one and W that one or one or the other I can never remember which one but I've set them up it's AWSD, there's the AWSD keys and you're just moving the object through its Z coordinates when you want to move and that's for strafing through the X coordinates and it's the local object position so it'll, no matter which way you're facing it'll always work for you um, it's the way you want to do it for this sort of thing um, that just lets you escape so if you press the escape key it exits the program um, this is what grabs your mouse cursor coordinates and it just resets it so it makes sure it's in the center um, this basically just works out how much you've moved the mouse for each axis X and Y this limits it so that it, it basically if I took this out you'd be able to move up and down look all you want whereas at the moment if I run it you can only look so far down that's as far down as you can look and you can only look so far up but you can't really tell because I've got no skybox or anything like that there but that's all that does um, I've used the Y move rather than an angle you could use an angle there if you wanted to be more precise I just used Y move and just played around it didn't take me 5 seconds um, and this is the actual bit that moves your camera so set camera rotation 
to Y move and X move divided by 16 that just makes it a bit smoother if you don't have that it, it's really really um, responsive to the mouse so you can change that to what you wanted I mean I'll change that to 32 let's make it a bit slower um, and then we'll run that so that's a bit smoother now but you can tell because I've I haven't hit that mouse and it looks horrible but you can play with that there's more advanced ways of doing it but basically I've just you know that's just a quick way of getting it a bit smoother um, uh, th this just matches the object rotation to the camera rotation just on the Y axis or the X Y axis if you want to call it that um, so basically when you look up and down it doesn't change the angle but left and right change the angle so that when you move around, run around you run in the right direction um, and set camera position is pretty much the same thing just sets the camera position at the player object XYZ and that just makes sure the mouse is always set at the zero or, sorry at the centre the zero what am I talking about and I'm not sure what command it is to hide the mouse. Um, no idea off the top of my head. I'd have to look at the help. So yeah, first person shooter movement. Works quite well. Walk around. You can strafe. You can run around and strafe. It'd look better in the scenery. Yeah, that's basically the basics of first person shooter movement. Hide that mouse. It's just a set raw key hot hidden or something like that. I can't rem remember exactly what it is. But uh, yeah. So I might well continue on with this and do something else. Put some buildings in, put a scene in, something like that. Get a bit of collision. So uh, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later.